It's the match day today. Arsenal is taking on Burnley at the Emirates and today we bring you Arsenal's ultimate readiness versus Burnley. How Arsenal got themselves ready for the Burnley game featuring all the footage coming in from the training session and some of the words that Ateta really said towards the game that Arsenal is obviously going to be playing today. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. This is the Arsenal News Show, meaning that we are only talking Arsenal. Hope you're ready to obviously... <coughs> take it to the next level we thank god for the gift of life and we're still alive because of him we thank him for his protection the same applies to the Mos to the muslims who thank allah for the gift of life and barak laufikum and may allah and god give you the best that you guys deserve in your lives and protect you from all your enemy bad plans that are directed towards you smash the like button close to 300 times and don't forget to see to it that you subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily you know every day that passes by we continue to close to our target of 18,000 subscribers and let me see how many subscribers are we left with it obviously hit that milestone we are left with um uh is it 80 subscribers so guys continue to subscribe such that we obviously hit that milestone and that magic number will obviously help us take us to the more now let's start it off with a little bit of what ateta really had to say about kai havertz you know before we get into how his players really showed up onto the last training session that really happened at the london Conley. now kai havertz is one of those players that has been really uh, slated most at the club of Arsenal and I've gone ahead to let Arsenal fans know that if you're really a person who knows exactly what progress means this guy is progressing he's really progressing and I really believe that every game that passes by he's becoming a better and better player as Kai Havertz now Ateta was asked on if there is unwarranted pressure on Kai Havertz he said I don't know I can tell you that I'm really pleased with the way he's performing. Obviously, looking at the numbers, just specifically the numbers of what he's producing in front, those have to be improved and we have to improve them. But in many other areas of the pitch, what he gives to the team at the moment is really important. And this is where the game of football really lost direction and why people obviously don't look at stats. When you look at the stats of Kai Havertz, he's one of those players that rarely puts in a blind pass at the club of us. No, you all know that. He really, he's really good at really boring ball retention. And you know exactly why Mikel Arteta uses him because he rarely loses the ball. And Ateta rather has rather has a player who doesn't score goals but doesn't lose the ball because he knows that his system is what we call a possession-based style of football that. The more you keep that ball, the more you say to it that you defend. You know that philosophy, and Pep Guardiola went ahead to explain it better, that if at all you're having players that can keep the ball better and better, then you are defending better. That is it. Because the moment you give the ball to the opponent, the more times you give the ball to the opponent to have it, then the opponent will have chances to score against you. But the more you get that ball with you that's what we really takes it where it deserves to be and everything has been put out by Mikel and really highlighted very well that apart from him not putting up the goals and the numbers he has gone ahead to obviously put up a show and when you're looking at that game i want you to look at kai havertz and how he plays how he gets that ball how he passes his energy levels are really high and that's why ateta is obviously loving him and you see to it that these previous two three games where has been played as a number 10 he's really playing better because that's the position he plays in best you know behind the center forward but most of the times adet has been playing this lad as a number eight you know a position that he's just learning to obviously start to play and Ateta wants to be playing with two with what a single pivot and two central attack midfielders who run and track back very very well but in Odegaard and uh, Kai Havertz. So that's what he said about Kai Havertz and I think you agree with him. For me, I agree with him. Apart from the goals, Kai Havertz is improving game after game. Now, let's get into what really transpired at the training session of Arsenal as they geared up <coughs> for the game of as they geared up for the game of 
Burnley to today, like it's t some 10 hours from now, right? <laughs> then Jorginho and Leandro Trossard, you know, both of these players we are signing the January transfer window of this year, and they've gone ahead to obviously make what we call a a grand, a grand, a grand performance at the club of Arsenal. Jorginho himself, you see to it that he's really performing better and he is really doing the needful for the club of Arsenal. With, ex with his experience and everything that is obviously moving on, he's doing great. For Yandio Trossard, he doesn't need any further explanation. You know it that he went ahead to put in, he went ahead to put in a shift. You know, last season, he put up close to 10 assists and I think two goals. This season, I told you, he's going to hit 20 goals. If you've always followed me on this channel, I told you Trossard is going to hit 20 goals. Not so. And how many does he have now? He's having five. So 15 to go. <laughs> and he's obviously going to get them. He's going to get those 20 goals because the way he positions himself is really great. And I think Ateta just knows exactly how to use this player. He's really one of those players that's proven that every time he's needed, he comes in through. This is Fabio Vieira and Martinelli all smiles at London Conley. And he also see to it that the future of Arsenal is bright. Every time I see Martinelli, 22 years of age, Fabio Vieira, I think, is 22 years of age. You know, you just get to know that the future of Arsenal is really bright. And you cannot, obviously, not give Ateta credit for building a squad like that. You just can't not really appreciate him for building a squad like that then William Saliba obviously he's really great the Rolls Royce at Arsenal and to me I look at him as a replacement of Rafael Verona the French national team so and today we know he's going to feature very very well this is El Nini obviously touching his head in disbelief during the last training session at the London Conley then Edin Ketia is back so He's back, and we want to see very keenly out of those players that have been injured who have gone ahead to take part into the training session of Arsenal. Edin Ketia is back, remember? He missed out on the tie of the Sevilla game, and it was Leandro Trossard who led the line and laid it very well. And you never know, he might lead the line straight away or come off the bench, but they still have other options that can lead the, that can lead the line or lead that focal point that is Trossard and Kai Havertz. Welcome back, Eddie Nketiah. Then, Declan Rice, a man proving that he's worth £105 million. He has gone ahead to transform that midfield of Arsenal, and he's doing wonders all over. That is Declan Rice in there for you, getting ready for that game. This is Zinchenko, a player that is really ready for action, and he loves the game, and he loves winning transforming Arsenal's culture and he's really doing the needful for the club of Arsenal. That is Zinchenko urging up his fellow players in training to obviously do the needful. Then Edin Ketia all smiles to be back because he missed out the game of Sevilla and this is another game by the way for Edin Ketia to score a hat-trick. By the way, that is it. These are teams that Edin Ketia should score against and if at all he gets in his goals ready he can see himself take his tally to seven. And this is where I question every person who really goes ahead and says, Arsenal needs a number nine. Guys, if Trossard, Nketiah, Bukayo Saka, Gabriel Martinelli, Martin Odegaard take their tally, you get? Take their tally to 20 each. Those will be 100 goals for Arsenal. That means no one can stop them from winning the league. Last season, Arsenal was just, just five goals less from Martin Odegaard. I'm talking about each player. From Martin Odegaard, Bukayo Saka, and Martinelli. If those three added just five more goals to the number of goals they scored to reach the mark of 20, no one would have gone ahead to really stop them. This time round, they're really having lots of players. They're really scoring in goals. And they are really ready. And Edin Ketia is one of those taking his tally to 5 into the Premier League. And he's also left with 15. All these players, Bukayo Saka, I think Saka is having 6, right? So he's left with 14. Odegaard is having, I think, like 4, meaning that he's left with 14. Martinelli is having, I think, 2 or 3. 
meaning that for him he has 17 to go. Uh, Gabriel Jesus has 16 to go because he has four. Then the other guy, uh, Bukayo, not Bukayo, um, Gabriel Jesus, Bukayo Saka, Odegaard, Trossard, and Edin Ketia. If those five players can hit 20 goals a season, trust me, the rest is going to be history. And they're obviously going to hit that number. There is no team that is ever going to hit to be having four forwards that score all those number of goals and they don't really clinch the trophy. I remember when Alex Ferguson had Andre, Andre Cole, Dwight York, you get? Andre Cole, Dwight York, Teddy Sheringham, and Oliguna Sosha both could average 20 goals a season. And he knew to eat that. If at all those can get him 80 goals, then the rest was history. Even at Arsenal, you know, they had. There's a time they had Nicola Anelka, they had uh, Thierry Henry, Sylvian Viltord, uh, and which other guy? Robert Perez, you know? And they could average 16, 17, 20 goals a season. There was a time they had Sami Nasri, uh, De Bayo, they had Fabregas was there. So, Every time that happens, then you obviously get to know that things will go on as planned. Declan Rice, obviously doing the needful during the training session at Arsenal and making things happen there for you. Jorginho and Mikel Arteta, obviously Jorginho doing the magic in front of his gaffer, Mikel Arteta, a player that he admired way back when he was still at Man City, tried to sign him and the player snubbed Man City and went to Chelsea where his former manager at Napoli, that is Mauricio Sarri, was really playing. Jorginho passing. You know, this guy can pass, you know. He's a press-resistant player, and we've got to hate to see his importance. Big Gabi, Big Gabi, Gabriel Magales. Obviously, one of those players that I don't really believe is starting today. Though, if he starts, I won't be surprised. Is it Shozi Dobri? All right. That is, those are some of the academy players taking part in the training session of Arsenal. Mikel Ateta issuing orders to the, to the players of Arsenal and this time particularly he was obviously talking to Declan Rice and telling him this is what I want you to be doing and doing the needful. By the kudos to Mikel Ateta. He's one of those player managers that are going to hate obviously fulfill their promise to Declan Rice. Remember when he was going to sign Declan Rice we, we are told that Ateta called Declan Rice and told him I'm going to make you a better player. I'm going to make you the best CDM in the world and for that there is no doubt that Ateta is doing it. He's looking more totally a different player than how he looked when he was playing at uh, what's the side? At West Ham. We all know that and he's going to hate to prove us right that is Mikel Ateta. And for that, for me, I never really and I, I, I was never surprised because I knew to it that Mikel Ateta, a player in the midfielder he was, I think he knows exactly how to make Declan Rice a better midfielder, you know? And he has been, he played in this league for like 20 years and he knows exactly what that is all about. Gabriel Magales and Jorginho having a word together. Then Jakub Kivio, right? Trying to do the needful and obviously go in for taco. This is Edin Ketia and this is Mikel Ateta. There is a photo I've not yet seen. All right. Yeah. There are some photos I don't gonna hate to see. And this is how they were in the gym. Kai Havertz and Gabriel Magales. Then Gabriel Martinelli obviously during the gym training session and Tommy Yasu back ready to obviously face off the side of Burnley. Remember, he walked off the field of play when he felt a discomfort in one of his body parts, but he's back. Zinchenko and Elini obviously doing the stretch ups during the gym. This is William Saliba, I see Leandro Trossard in the mix and obviously stepping onto the field of play to take on the responsibility. Jorginho warming up, uh, Jorginho all smiles, and Mikel Ateta trying to take a shot, right? Hope you're really, really, really ready on how everything is obviously happening there. So that is it coming in from Mikel Ateta, and allow me, and allow me end it at this, such that we get ready for the next stories as we really prepare you to get ready for the game of Burnley. Your thoughts on to Arsenal's ultimate readiness versus Burnley are welcome in the comment section below. Don't forget to obviously tell us what your thoughts are about this beautiful fixture. 
we sign out for now. See you later. Good morning. And we cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The Christians and the Muslims. Barak Laufikum. Rokan David is my name. I sign out for now. Bye-bye.